It's hard to believe, but it's barely been four months since I first played Star Citizen. It feels like it's been far longer, and what a journey it has been in the meanwhile. Since I joined the game earlier this year, I've been through Invictus, four Freefly events, the release of the 3.14 patch along with Orison, the new Crusader, and huge changes to ship components. Xenothreat came back in a big way, as well as the new Ninetales lockdown. The ship showdown, where in a stunning turn of events, the Argo Cargo took the crown against all odds. And now as October is here and the 3.15 patch is nearing release, we're looking at even more sweeping changes to the game, including new inventory systems, medical gameplay, loot generation, and more. And to top it all off, in just a few days, I will have an opportunity to watch and participate in CitizenCon for the first time ever. Being a part of the Star Citizen community these last few months has given me a lot to think about. A lot has happened, I've learned a lot, and met a lot of awesome people. So, I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to peel back the curtain and take a look at what Star Citizen is like for a new player in 2021. I first joined the game during Alpha 3.13 on the tail end of the Invictus event. I had been searching for a good space game for a while, and Star Citizen just looked like it would fill that itch. What I didn't expect was not only how deeply I would fall in love with the game, but how involved I would become in following along with its development. It was so interesting listening to them talk about new ships, new technologies, and new things being developed and updated multiple times a week. I have never known much about how development cycles in games work, but being a part of Star Citizen has really helped me understand it a lot better, and I look forward to hearing more from the passionate members of the dev team every week. Another thing that really impressed me was the community. While I've definitely met a share of unpleasant people, the community at large has been incredibly nice and welcoming, and is especially helpful towards newer players. I remember a time when I had been working towards buying a Talon in-game, and it just so happened that some players were having a Talon meetup on the server I was on. When I mentioned I had been saving up but wasn't quite there, several people gave me credits to buy a Talon, and even some extra for components. I've met some incredibly cool people, made new friends, and have even created a community in Discord with quite a few people that I play with all the time. It's a game with so much variety, but a lot of what you can do is built on the freedom that players are given within the game. Some of the best times I've had with playing games recently have been in Star Citizen. Just running aimlessly around Stanton, finding mischief and mayhem wherever we go. Playing tag, running bounties, mining, escaping prison, cruising around in buggies... are just a few of the many things we've been doing. The release of the 3.14 patch was incredible. The hype leading up to it, screenshots and videos of Orison, the new polish passes on the HUD, the new cloud tech, and more. When it finally hit the PTU, I had so much fun jumping in with a bunch of friends and checking out all the new stuff, running around with space whale plushies in hand, providing feedback on bugs, and watching it evolve until it hit the live servers. Xenothreat was possibly my favorite week of Star Citizen. Being able to play through such a chaotic melee of box deliveries, combat against fighters, and assist with the epic takedowns of capital ships. Going in with a team of friends or teaming up with randoms along the way, both were equally as fun and exciting. The ship showdown was utter chaos, and I loved it, even when the ship I wasn't rooting for didn't win. Seeing such an unlikely ship pushed to the top through the ravings of so many avid fans was hilarious to see, and I had some fun messing around in that little orange box of a ship as well. The game has changed so much since I first joined the verse, and it's going to be going through even more enormous changes in the very near future. It's almost like a totally different game from when I first started, and it's been absolutely wild to see it evolve and change around me. With CitizenCon coming soon, an event I've never had the pleasure to experience live, 
You can bet I'm absolutely hyped to see what's coming next. Of course, with all good comes the bad, and there is certainly a large and vocal subset of detractors from the game. People calling it a scam, saying it's never changed, that it will never be finished, etc. It hurts to be called an idiot, stupid, sheep, or much worse names just for finding something that I enjoy and playing it. It hurts even more knowing that most of what they say is untrue, but that there are people that are so set in their beliefs that they refuse to see anything else. And knowing that a lot of these people were some of the original backers of the project, who once shared my optimism and dreams, but have become embittered as time has passed, that's sometimes a difficult pill to swallow. Of course, I know that Star Citizen is still in Alpha and will likely still be there for quite a while. I know there's bugs galore. The 30Ks, glitches, and crashing can be infuriating at times. Some ships can be prohibitively expensive on the e-store, and some are simply concepts that may not even exist for years to come. But as a new player to the game, I don't have any preconceived notions of what the project was originally promised to be. I, I wasn't there. I haven't gone through the growing pains like a lot of people have. But what I do know is that Star Citizen is a game that I've fallen in love with. I've had some of the best times I've ever had playing this game. It's a game that already fulfills many of my dreams and fantasies that I've had since I was a child. And that's something truly magical. Maybe that's just my optimism speaking, but as a new player, from my perspective, there's already a ton of stuff to love. And while it's only been a few months, the game has taken enormous leaps forward in that time, and there's only more good stuff on the horizon. If you're new to the game, and still wondering if you want to give it a try, I would highly recommend it. And if you're an old player, perhaps wondering if it is worth coming back to, I invite you to do so. This is the perfect time to be getting into Star Citizen. There's magic in the air, and I for one cannot wait to be right on the front row to see it happen. Thanks everyone for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're thinking of joining the verse, check the description of this video for a referral code to get an extra 5,000 credits to start with. Also, feel free to check out my Discord channel, where we have a growing community of people who are happy to help newer players get into the verse. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like to help support my channel and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon, where you can help support me and get access to Patreon-only polls, giveaways, and more. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the verse.